Hello guys, welcome back to my channel OS Group Half and the Keys. So today it is all about Netcat. So it is also known as a Swiss Army knife. Before I proceed, I want to show you the lab environment. I have two servers, Ubuntu web server that is a, a, a Nginx server, and I have an enormous client that is a Kali Linux. So I have I'm using these two containers as a virtual machines and uh, equivalent to a physical machine. So uh, I'm treating th these both as uh, as um, physical machines over here. So now what I do, I am going to um, Log into my client that is uh, enormous elephant, which uh, which is which is having a Kali Linux running on top of it. Okay, so now what I'm to do, I want to do a network check. So the first thing I do is I just wanted to ping to my web server. So I just do ping, and as you can see, I'm able to resolve the DNS, but I'm not able to connect it. So maybe the your your ping probes are banned. So now I have to ha have another way of doing it. So I just wanted to do a port scan and just check if what and all what and all what ports are being exposed to the server so i can do that by using nc hyphen z for port scanning hyphen n to only uh, specify numerical ip address and also a range so when i append when i add a hyphen v option it'll give me a verbose and now when i hit it enter i can see there are two ports open 80 and 22 now i'm um, coming over my web server alexi exec and uh, in our uh, ubuntu web server and hyphen hyphen and just to the net minus plnt which will show me if my web server is exposing service so it is verified that it is exposing service and nc is giving me a correct result so uh now that we know uh that uh, you, uh, we have a web server and it is running it is it is running nginx on top of it maybe it is not known that it is, it is running nginx but we know that there is something running on top of uh, a server which is http port so now what we do we are going to um do nc and connect to that server with uh, and and pass few commands few nginx commands that's a hit and trial so head head slash http and uh, one dot zero when you hit enter so uh okay let's let's keep it on hold and go ahead and uh, check on my web server and if i can see if i'm getting any logs uh, logs for this particular event so this i can do uh either from outside or i want to log in inside so let's do bash when i go to the var log nginx folder yeah so when i do tail off to access logs as of now i am nothing when i hit enter i should get an event so i saw i got an event from here that is from this particular ip that is a client ip now let's and another information we got is it is an operating system information which he gave uh which output gave to us so when we verify it is an ubuntu but not a 1604 or 74 but we got to know it is an ubuntu machine so we can use this connection for something else also we can use to uh, i mean simply pass a raw messages which is like not necessary and it can be uh, harmful to your web server so it's it's not that recommended to have nc in your production okay so now we saw right so we have already uh, know how to connect and how to get more information from the web server now for example let's say i want to have a chat server so it only takes two lines of code to create a chat server on my server which is ubuntu web server i, I do nc minus l minus p to expose a service and which is listening to 777 now i am going to my client and i am connecting to my uh, server on particular port so when i do that i am actually having a tcp connection established so now from my client i can send hey so that is sent to my server yeah and again if i want to say something else so in this case maybe you want to say how are you or let's endorse my uh channel always group hyphen techies so this is like it's it is that easy uh to create a chat server it's like it's just uh it's just you are exposing a service and you are you are having a, a connection between two your 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 server and your client so <clears throat> let's say we have a use case that i have uh, so many servers and i'm i don't have my developer user over there and i want this guy to uh, live access the logs from a remote server without logging into it so how do we do that i think so this is the best use case most of the time what happens is like uh, uh, maybe a developer wants to access some logs and you ha all you have to do is you have to go and create his user so in this case it is not it's not it is not necessary what you do is you just do tail of that tail of that file and pipe it to the server created by nc we on port 777 so now this is started exposing go to your client and connect it so when you connect it you should be able to see the logs live being passed to you 
so this can be done from so many machines instead of so for example 10 developers they can have 10 uh, instances of client connecting and get the same logs so what we are going to do is we are just going to do curl and check we are going to do a, a live curl and check if we are getting a live logs so that is also possible you do just do watch curl and go to my server and we're going to my client where i have i have connected to and check the logs this is how it looks like and this is your live logs without logging to a machine remote machine yeah okay so this is one of the use cases which we daily use for example i want to do a cat that file and i want to uh, send that file for example i want my developer to receive a file without doing scp because scp requires uh, authentication in this case it doesn't require authentication so you just re re redirect to a file and that is done okay so uh, as you can see i have my file downloaded without doing anything and just using a netcat so this is how we send out files so uh, yeah okay so now what i want to do is i am on my ubuntu server so i want to expose a terminal from my ubuntu server and i want my client with his enormous uh, elephant to log into my uh, log into the ubuntu server without uh, ssh of what happened okay so the nc version of uh, version on ubuntu is different and but on kalinux it is different so let's let's switch the roles let's in this case let's let's our enorm enormous elephant which is a kali linux be the web server so expose it from your nc minus vv minus l for login minus p for port and give a port now minus e for the uh, environment which i am going to expose is, that is bin bash now this guy is started listening to a port 777 Okay, let's do few checks. So, which is like I want to scan if that port is scannable. So I can do it by nc minus z for scanning hyphen n for a numerical IP. So let to get to get the IP, I do LXA list. I get the IP from here, and I use it to scan a port from five thousand to seven thousand. This is a port range where you want to scan it from. So it's it's kind of a, it will do a ping sweep. So minus V option when you do it, as you can see, there are so many connections refused. I think so. There should there is some problem, is it? Well, let me check for open port. I can see no, no matches. Okay, so let's just try um, directly connecting to that port. It's just hit and try. So I give an IP two forty one and a port. Oops. Okay. Now let's go to the server and check. Oh, as you can see, the port, the the server has closed this port. It is not listening now. We we start it again and uh, do the same thing. So when we connect it, we can get a terminal. We got a terminal. Now let's execute few commands. Unit minus a. Okay, enormous elephant. I am connected to enormous elephant from my Ubuntu web server. Let's give few more information about the Linux uh, operating system. Cat slash cd slash ecu. It is a Kali Gunik Gunol Linux. and uh let's reboot it from your is that possible yes it is possible so when i do init 6 it is going to run level 6 which is reboot in this case so when you do lx ls and check your, your your server is stopped so it will be starting in few few minutes so as we use this in very careful manner so init 6 is really really dangerous so it's like rebooting your machine Okay, so now, for example, I want to send out entire folder. I mean, for example, you have a use case where you want to send huge amount of files from one machine, and you want to send it to ten machines. So what you can do is, you can do a, use a compression over here and compress that whole folder, pipe it to a server. That is, a, 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 it's a kind of a, it is a it's a server, right? It's exposing its service. So you just do ns nc minus l minus p and expose it. So <clears throat> Now you can use multiple clients to connect to this particular server and get the output. So, for example, in this case, we are going inside of an enormous elephant, and uh, let's remove this. Let's, let's do clean up, and all you have to do is, for example, I want to uh, untar it on rest. So I just first connect it on particular port that is seven 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 and pipe it to the standard output will be a tar file. Then it will be tar hyphen xbf. and high five so when you do that so you will have your file over here 
that's it for this section guys uh, hope you enjoyed Th thanks for watching and subscribe subscribe for more videos thank you see you bye